Yesterday we got the house, uh, both sections pulled out and we left it here in the parking lot. We were gonna transport it to Tell City, but uh, we, there's a chance of rain today and tomorrow. And we were afraid that if we transported it, it might rip some of the plastic and then we'd have to, you know, have to redo some of the work that we already did. Uh, so we decided just to leave it here in the shop, but today there's a pretty good chance of rain, so we actually canceled the, uh, the setting of the house. Uh, we're gonna wait until Thursday to do that now. Well, and it kind of looks like now it might go around us, but it just wasn't take, worth taking a chance. Get yeah. a wet, I've never got a wet house to this date. I ain't gonna start here. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. The students this morning, we, we were planning on shipping um, and we everybody came in with their lunch boxes ready to go, go to the job site all day. And they were pretty bummed out whenever we had to explain to them that you know we had to delay for, for the weather. Just extends the excitement now though. So since Monday, we've been cleaning up the shop and doing our online work for construction because we have to have that done since it's a dual credit class. We're trying to get all that done since we only have about two and a half weeks of school left and we're going to have to have time to work on the house once we get it there. So seeing the house getting moved was, uh, it was definitely a cool experience to see. Um, I've never seen a house be moved at all. All the houses that I've seen have always been built on the job site. It was sketchy because we didn't know if anything was going to break or not when we pulled it out, but we're glad everything stayed all together. Well, I mostly look forward to seeing the house, like getting shit down the road and being put in place and knowing that we put the work into that to have that happen. The roof goes down. I didn't expect that to work as well as it did, you know, built by a bunch of teenagers and stuff, but uh, it's pretty cool seeing it split in half. Never seen anything like it before. Well, it's my first house I've ever built, so I'm pretty proud of it. It's an accomplishment and it can stick with me forever. I mean, it's something I'll always remember and if I can drive by that house and say I built that or I built that in high school, tell my kids about it. And... So tomorrow it's going to be, uh, it's going to be interesting. We're going to watch the house get set down and uh, we're going to have to really work hard and close in the house and uh, hopefully tomorrow's not supposed to be as hot or humid as what today is so hopefully it'll stay uh, just nice weathered so we can actually get stuff done and not be getting real hot and have to sit down all the time and take a break. Thursday, our game plan is to go down as soon as we get to school with the students. So we'll hop on a bus. We'll probably get to the job site about 8.30. Um, we're gonna pull our school truck and trailer down there at Gooseneck, loaded with our rest of the supplies, the roofing supplies, the, the extra sheeting, um, and all that good stuff, ladders, generators, all the tools we're gonna need, we're gonna pull it down separately. So Mike will probably drive the bus and I'll probably drive the truck with the, with the tools. Get down at about 8.30 and hopefully Jason and his crew has got the crane set up and ready to swing the house in place. Once 
the house gets set, uh, we're going to have to, and Jason's crew is going to help us dry it in. Um, we got to finish the shingles, uh, you know, put the drop ins in, deck it, finish the shingles. Uh, we'll have to finish the gable ends of the house with OSB and then wrap it with house wrap. Um, Habitat is going to take over uh, the porch, so they're going to do the, the porch, which we actually did more of the roof section than we originally had told them, so that to, to help them out. Um, and then we'll have to, if there are any cracks in the drywall, to fix those. We're going to continue the flooring where the house came together because we didn't want to we didn't want to have a, a transition strip between the kitchen and living room, so we'll continue that across as, as one uh, one floor, and then we'll need to put it finish the trim up, and there's a couple doors we'll have to put in, and um, just tidy up a few things here and there. Uh, I'm excited to see the crane put it down and pick it up. You know, I think that would be pretty cool seeing a house in there, not something you see every day. So. I think the most important thing that I learned is being uh, patient with everybody else and giving them time to finish stuff, like electrical, like it was pretty hard to do. We had to wait for some like crane to help us and stuff. So just be patient with people. Teamwork, working together. I mean, it take forever if everybody uh, just slacked off and stood in the corners, but we all work together and it makes it go a lot quicker. You have to learn to work with each other and get along with each other, help each other like learn different things. Like uh, Mr. Craney and Mr. Jarbo have helped all of us a lot just uh, teaching us how to build a house and it's a cool experience to know how to do it that way just in life if you need to know how to build a house or if you want to build a house you know how to do it. I think it's pretty cool. Hope nothing breaks. I think it's pretty cool. I think the house is a lot more impressive than I thought it would be. And I'm excited for it to be done. I slept like a baby last night. I knew it was doing well. Jason's in charge. I'm not nervous at all. <laughs> Probably 90% of you said this was not going to work. Maybe 99% of you. <laughs>
Colton J. I think almost everyone said this is never going to work. I think it finally, it's finally all coming together for them. There was a lot, a lot of the kids didn't think that any of this was possible. Beginning of the school year, we talked about what we were going to do. I'd say 99% of them thought we were crazy and said this is never going to work. You know, the house is going to fall to pieces. And every step throughout the year, it's neat to watch them. They're starting to finally, you know, you know thinking this is going to work. Um, and then we split the house Friday. Um, they were super excited about it. It was, it was fun to watch and fun to see. Well, at the beginning of last year when we started on uh, like the foundation for it, you know, rolling in and out, I didn't see us being this far towards the end of the year, you know, where you know, we're dropping it in, you know, we're getting the house raised up, we're getting it put together and whatnot. It's definitely been like a, a big sense of accomplishment. I would say definitely for me and probably for everybody else too. I, you know, I've been excited about it the whole year. Um, I was thinking about it last night. It's a little bittersweet. It's kind of, you know, it's kind of, you kind of get that feeling that, oh, it's, you know, it's done and over with now. But there's also the sigh of relief that it is done and over with. Um, I'm excited to be a part of it again next year if they decide to do it next year. You know, now that we've, we've all kind of, I think, together figured out some issues that, that'll, that can make things, uh, go a little smoother and easier next year. So Habitat has already decided um, for us to, to do another project next year, another house. It's going to be a bit larger. Um, there will be no basement on the next year's house. Uh, Mr. Jarbo's engineering students have already started the, the plans for that for the house. So the, the students in my class when they take the pathway they'll be able to build two houses before they graduate.